Laser hair removal has been around for quite some time now. Um, I was the medical director of Vanishing Point, which was the first national laser hair removal company back in the 90s. Um, and the technology for laser hair removal has, has really um, progressed well since then. Um, back then we used the intense pulse light, that's all we had. The best thing that um, we have now is a diode, a supercharged diode, and it allows the skin to, the hairs actually, absorb the energy from the laser and the laser light travels down the hairs and it goes into the follicle where it causes inflammation and scarring of the follicle so the follicle cannot produce any hairs anymore. This is why it's so important if anyone who is thinking about doing laser hair removal, the best way to maintain until you get all the hair gone is to shave because if you pluck, when you pluck a hair, you're pulling it out by the roots and you're damaging the hair follicle a little bit. But it's not enough to get rid of the hair. But it is enough to cause the next hair to come out to be a little bit lighter and a little bit finer. And then that ends up being not as good a target as the virgin hair would be for the laser. The, the thicker and darker the hair is, the easier it is for the hair to pick up the, and draw in the laser light energy and convert it to heat, which destroys the follicle. Um, so you don't want to be plucking your hairs, you don't want to be waxing because that does the same thing. So we tell our patients, anyone who is doing this, shave, even women on their face if they need to, to maintain until the hair is all gone, they just shave. There's no way that you can do anything to the hair follicle by shaving because the, the, the follicles down here underneath the skin, if you're just cutting off the hair at the top, there you can't affect so there's this myth about if you shave, it's going to make your hair more coarse or thicker. It's, it's totally false. It's really important before doing laser hair removal to make sure that the skin has been protected from the sun. Even though we have lasers that are much safer and, and we can use them on tan skin, I still prefer my patients to avoid the sun because sun tan skin is much more likely to burn than darker skin that hasn't been tanned, for example. Um, the other thing also is to not use any self-tanners because any self-tanner on the skin is going to be, is, will pick up the laser energy as well. So we have to make sure that they haven't used any self-tanner for at least two to three weeks before the procedure.